Hello all. So welcome to Cost Channel. My name is Ratna Kishor. In this video, I mainly discuss about three things. The first one is rank. Second one is null space, and the third one is nullity. Rank of a matrix. Rank of a matrix is nothing but the number of linearly independent rows or columns in a matrix. In a matrix, always the number of linearly independent rows is equal to the number of linearly independent columns. So that's why we can consider the total number of linearly independent rows or the total number of linearly independent columns as a rank of matrix. Now we will consider an example. Here I am considering a matrix A, which is having the dimension 2 by 3. Here the rank of this matrix would be 1. We will see the explanation of it. So let me consider the columns first. If you observe the second column here, which is nothing but the 2 times of the first column, and the third column is nothing but 3 times of the first column. That means here the column 2 and 3 both are linearly dependent columns and column 1 is linearly independent column. Here since we have only one linearly independent column, we can say the rank of this matrix would be 1. Here we can say R2 is nothing but 2 times of R1. That means here we can get the values of row 2 by multiplying the values of row 1 by 2. So that means here row 1 is linearly independent row and row 2 is linearly dependent row. Since the matrix A here is having one linearly independent row, again we can say the rank is 1. In this way, by finding the number of linearly independent rows or the number of linearly independent columns, we can compute the rank of the matrix. Now we will consider some valid points with respect to the rank. If you take any null matrix, its rank is always 0. And also one more point we need to remember. The rank of the matrix cannot exceed the number of its rows or columns. So in order to compute the rank of the matrix, we have matrix underscore rank function in a linear algebra package of the NumPy. Next we will consider the null space. Here the null space is used to identify the total number of linear relationships among all the columns of the matrix. So null space of a matrix A consisting of all the vectors x such that Ax is equal to 0. So if you take any vector from the null space, then if you multiply that vector with the matrix A, then we can get 0 matrix. So that is the null space. Next nullity. The nullity is nothing but the total number of vectors present in the null space. That is the dimension of the null space of the matrix. That means the nullity represents the total number of linear relationships present among the columns of the matrix. Now let me define rank nullity theorem. The rank nullity theorem states that if you compute the sum of the rank of a matrix A and the nullity of the matrix A, then you can get the total number of columns present in that matrix A. Simply says rank plus nullity gives the total number of columns present in a matrix. Now we will see how we can compute the rank as well as nullity using the NumPy. First I am importing the NumPy package with an alias NP and then I am creating a matrix A with two rows and three columns. For that I am using the array function of the NumPy package where the first row elements are 2, 4 and 6 and the second row elements are 4, 8 and 12. Now I am displaying the matrix A. Then we got 2, 4, 6, 4, 8, 12 as the elements of this 2 by 3 matrix. Now I am computing the rank of the matrix by using matrix underscore rank function in linear algebra package of the NumPy. Now I am displaying the rank of this matrix A. Now I am running the cell. Now we got 1 as the rank. Now I am going to find out the nullity of the matrix A. From the rank nullity theorem, we can say that the rank of the matrix plus 
the nullity of the matrix is equal to total number of the columns. From that we can compute the nullity of the matrix as the total number of columns of that matrix minus the rank of the matrix. First I am going to get the total number of columns of the matrix A. That I can obtain from the attribute shape. And then I am computing the nullity by subtracting the rank from the total number of columns. And then I am displaying the nullity. After running this cell I got 2 as the nullity. So for the given matrix 2, 6, 4 and 4, 8, 12 the rank is 1 and the nullity is 2. Since the rank is 1 we can say the total number of independent columns would be 1 or the total number of independent rows would be 1. And uh, since nullity is 2 we can say there are two linear relationships present in this matrix A. Now I am going to consider a null matrix and then I am going to find out its rank. As I mentioned earlier its rank should be 0. Here I am using zeros function in NumPy to get a 3 by 4 matrix with elements zeros into variable n. And then I am going to find out the rank of this particular matrix. And then I am displaying it. Then I got 0 as its rank. So that means here we can say if you take any null matrix its rank is 0.